Hey guys, uh, welcome to Tower of God Chapter 30 reaction. So, um, positioning should be ending for this chapter. Bam made a contract with administrator so he can use Shinsu now without any kind of obstacles. So, I'm really interested in that. Also, again, I'm really thankful for everyone who is helping me in the comment section because there are some like mistranslations and such. So again, thank you very much. Now I understand the classes, what they actually mean, because translation apparently is a little bit weird. So that is really cool. Yeah, I should probably just start reading. So again, there is a class. It's Bam, Hosenkal, Lore, Varian, and the other two people are already going away. Okay, so it, it's ending. Phew, it's finally over. Although, I didn't understand most of the class. <laughs> Bam, you need to pay attention. You look tired, Mr. Bam. Nice to meet you. I'm Hall. Okay, Ho, um, cool and such. I'm just not feeling really good because I don't feel you end up well. Pleasure to meet you. Though he's smiling kinda suspiciously. Okay, still the position test. It's difficult, right? Learning this Shinsu stuff. Mm, yeah, actually, I can't understand it at all. That happens when you are new. Bam, for real, you need to try understand everything, even though I would probably be in his position, because all the things are completely new, almost completely new, because I saw anime, because, but they like did a lot of weird shit in anime, which doesn't make sense. And Bam, like, this is very, very new because before that he was living in a weird area. So he never saw anything like this previously. So he's like a little Bambi, like I said. Oh, he's getting interested in him though. But what helps to control Shinsu is not knowledge, it's talent. I think you're talented, so you'll be able to control it well soon. I mean, yeah, it's true. Bam has natural talent with the Shinsu. Me? Talented? I don't think so. By the way, you seem to already know how to control Shinsu. Well, probably that it's true. I guess that's a Ho had some problems because he was trying to control Shinsu, but he wasn't doing it that well like Bam, who don't understand like the stuff they are learning theory but practically he's really good at it i guess that's the thing i'll understand a theory but practically it's harder for him because bam is naturally talented and a bit special that sucks i guess yeah he can use dino a little bit well i can do this Okay. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Well, it looks kind of flashy, but that's it, I guess. No, not at all. This is the limit of my talent. It is too weak to use in battle. I don't really get why I was placed in the wave control position. That's interesting. Pretty much. Mm, he's having troubles with controlling it, or like only tiny little bit of Shinsu, which is not really helpful that much. Don't you agree, Mr. Laura? Mm, that's true. <laughs> Sleeping, man. Where are you try? Where are you like listening what they are saying, or what the teacher was saying to you? I mean, he probably doesn't need it because he can use Shinsu already, right? He's basically like, okay, I'm just gonna be here because of tendons and shit, but 
maybe he would be able to learn the tiny a little bit more, but I guess he doesn't really need it that much. Oh no, I don't think so. You must be talented in... Nope. <laughs> Bam is trying to be so nice to him already, it's like, not happening, I'm sorry, pal. What? What, Mr. Laura? Aren't you being too rude to someone else? Well, that's very nice of you, Bam, that you want him to be positive, but I guess Laura understands it more than you. Yeah, I guess some people might be limited in their Shinsu use, which sucks. Hello. Hey boy, give me your hand. Huh? Your hand. Okay, Laura is trying to show him something. My hand like this? Yes. And imagine that the whole world has gathered to become a circle in your hands. Whole oh, world gathered in my hand to create a circle? Okay, teaching him stuff. Create a circle. And it happened like this. <laughs> no effort. <laughs> yeah, Bam is talented. Which kinda sucks. But yeah, that happens. Some people are talented in some things more than the others. That's how it goes. You cannot do anything about that. Maybe try harder. That's all you can do. No, maybe the thing you think you are doing and were chosen for is not exactly what are you supposed to do. Because there are surely people which are trying so hard to achieve something in like, in some kind of area, completely like disregarding or not even being aware that they have talent for something else, they would probably be naturally very good by that. But they are not even paying attention to that because they are set like on that one area which is very cool to them. So they want to achieve something in that area. But they would, uh, they are going to have a really hard time because in that area there are very talented people, way more talented people, naturally talented people. So this person is basically throwing all their natural talent which is in completely different area away. So it's kinda sad, it's true. People should probably pay more attention to what they are good at. What? What is this light? Oh, it's gone? What is all this? That's what you call talent, boy. <laughs> oh, it's like, what the fuck? What did he just do? Bam, ha Bam just did it so effortlessly, like, he wasn't even trying hard. Yeah, Laura showed him. Because Bam didn't understand. Oh, doesn't have it, which is sad. Yeah, this is the reality, Bam. Sadly. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Kun. Laying down. Oh my god, that was super boring. Why is there so much we should learn? I mean... If you want to climb the tower, you probably should know some stuff, eh? I still like that he has his hair tied up. I agree, I couldn't understand at all. I know. Why do we have to come all the way up here to take this boring class? Hey, school is, school is important. Oh, by the way, where's Mr. Rag? Oh, the crocodile? I met him on my way and he was super furious. Furious? <laughs> I guess things weren't going his way. <laughs> uh, that happens, Rag. You need to... Go you need to go through the struggles, you know? That will help you. I'll go back to the wild. Don't stop me, turtles. Is what he said before leaving. To, to, to the wild? Wild, wild west? What does he mean? I really like this scribble. Scribble way. How Rag is drawn. That's cool, I like it. I like this. That's so cool. Appreciate. I guess something happened during his class. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, I guess he is. So, Rag is like going and trying to learn more, I guess. Think about 
how should he achieve like uh, the test how he should do it thinking about maybe what he was doing wrong or what did he not understand probably someone's knocking how is it okay who's here this late at night it wouldn't be the crocodile it's shibisu sup hi bam M mr shibisu <laughs> yeah if i remember they need to make friends right training suit and the sword guy why are you here uh it's embarrassing to ask you this do you want to be friends with us <laughs> <laughs> that's so <laughs> like we need this for our test can you please <laughs> i mean we know each other i just love that all the talking is shibisu and this dude is just like i'll come i'll come with him maybe they will sign it too oh my god he's not saying anything and he's just standing here maybe he's feeling embarrassed <laughs> Huh? What? I really love their clothing. This blue looks so good on them. Even though it's just normal t-shirt. <laughs> I like the blue. It looks really good on Kun. Given his color scheme. Make 10 friends in a week? Scouts get weird homework, huh? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay. So you're asking me to be friends with you. I don't want to. Hey, why not? <laughs> I heard that you love making friends. Who said that? The crocodile. Damn jerk. <laughs> yeah, Ken doesn't strike me like a person who likes to make friends. Maybe allies, but that's different. That's very different. But first of all, you are on the team with the lizard who took the black march from Bam. Do you think we'll help you? I mean, they can try, right? I also believe that conflicted with the spirit of swordsmanship. I apologize on her behalf. Okay, yeah, yeah, I also believe that conflicted with the sw spirit of swordsmanship. I'll apologize on her behalf. And the teams were disbanded after the crown game, so she has nothing to do with me anymore. Hmm, I guess so. Because now they will be forming new teams, maybe? Because some people like will be dropping out, so yeah, that makes sense, right? <laughs> but they were in team. So even if you are trying to disregard that, you still were partners. Now that she's not on your team, you'll have nothing to do with her, huh? Is that your spirit of sportsmanship? To throw away someone who was once your teammate? That's evil. <laughs> um, can I exactly what I was trying to say? Not the evil part, though. I'm just talking about the right path of a sportsman. And by the way, you're narrow-minded. Okay, guys, stop throwing things at you, at each other. You didn't came here to argue. Right? You, you came here to sign or ask them if they can sign you the friendship list. Just swallow your freaking pride. <laughs> yeah, she be so coming to help. Ah, oh, there, there, don't fight. Why don't we get to know each other first? Yeah, maybe then things will get better. That's cool, I'm Kun. I'm a son of the Kun family. One of the... Ten great families. Kun Aguero Agnes is my full name. In short, I'm of a noble family, unlike you guys. <laughs> oh my god, Kun. He's purposely saying that to piss of this dude, I guess. Kinda boasting. Jesus Christ, Kun. He is a little bit dickish. He has it in him. A little bit mean. Well, but there is also the story that you are not exactly, or your family is not exactly fond of you, right? If I remember correctly. But he still likes to use the name. I mean, I guess maybe that's very helpful. 
because 10 good great families it's probably very well known family if there is one of 10 great families so they might be profitable in certain areas we ask about you not your father that information is as useless as your earrings give us some useful information this time it's like we didn't ask you about your fucking family we don't give a shit we ask about tell us something about you as a person you know we need to know something about kun not your fucking family oh my god i love this kun got pa pissed this jerk this is my ear what is to what is it to you if i have earrings or piercings <laughs> he feels insulted hey calm down calm down now it's Hutt's turn to introduce himself. She was is like, <laughs> she was is like handling this situation like, guys, please calm down. This is not the time. We didn't come here for arguing about stupid shit. Hutt and Kuhn. Oh my god, guys, you are so petty. So petty. <laughs> Kuhn is being so mean, but this dude is not eating that at all. Hey Hots, do you know how many times we were rejected because of your temper? Please calm down. Please. We need those signs, those friendship approvals because of our scout positions. Please, man, swallow your pride and agree on it. Just smile and wave, you know? <laughs> I apologize for my words. My name is Hutz. I'm 18 years old. My dad was a swordsman. Ah, oh, that kind of makes sense. Swords are kind of in his family, even though he's not a swordsman, but a swordsman. So I've liked swords since I was young. I grew up with the spirit of a swordsman. That's cool. Spirit, spirit, stop spouting old stories. <laughs> Kun is still fizz at him and is tr still trying to show him that. Does your family still say seppuku even today? It's all old fashioned. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Oh my god, they're so petty. It's kind of cute. But that's very mean, Kun. Especially that seppuku thing. Very, very mean. You, are you making fun of our spirit of swordsmanship? Performing seppuku is noble and manly. What's funny about that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's... Um, if we are talking about swordsmanship and seppuku and samurai, that was very honorable. So, like, making fun of it would be very... Yeah, they would probably kill you for that. <laughs> you don't make fun of it. Hats, calm down. Seppuku is manly? That's stupid. I guess if your dad told you to order a medium-sized pizza, but you ordered a large, your dad would tell you to seppuku. Jesus Christ! Kun! Oh my god, chill! Why are you making this dude so angry? Jesus Christ. Wow, Kun. What a dig move. <laughs> That's like big dig move. This is really not funny. Of course, seppuku is the only way if you are a man. <laughs> Dad, I really wanted to eat more. Do you think... Do you think ten dollars is a joke? Seppuku? <laughs> did, did you really? Oh, okay, calm down, guys. And you, didn't people in your town talk behind your back because of your silly earrings? Ah, oh, he doesn't agree with his fashion statement with earrings. I mean, yeah, uh, for some cultures, things like this are uh, 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 like tattoos and piercings and such are for criminals and such or are like injuring your body is not good or doing something like this in a way if to your body I think especially in Asian cultures maybe didn't ha didn't that have something to do with 
I think in China, like, you weren't allowed to do anything, like, to your body because it was, like... You weren't allowed to do anything to your body because, like, without parents agreeing on that because they birthed you. So, something like that, I think. I don't exactly know because I don't know how recently, but I think I heard something like that. So, like, doing these kind of things might be very disrespectful. Though I don't know how exactly hats means it, like, being disrespectful. Or if it is like criminal thing. <laughs> nope. Earrings are clan in my town. <laughs> Everybody wears at least five or six earrings. Okay, dude. Chill, Kun. And not only people, but also animals and objects wear them too. That's the trend. Stop bluffing. Are you a kid? <laughs> what? Stream earrings? <laughs> Kun is just making fun of him. This dude looks interesting though. <laughs> He's making fun of him. Oh my god, Kun. What a dig move. Can you please chill? Hats is being kinda nice. Yeah, seems like they're not fond of each other. Shibisa is like, why are you making this worse? Just Hats, please. Damn it, we failed in making friends again. <laughs> Hmm, seems like Hats is really sure-tempered. Most people would be like, I don't give a fuck, what are you saying? Just freaking sign this, please. But, yeah, seems like Hats is very proudful. Well, Kun is too. Let's be friends. Huh? My name is the 25th Bam. Just call me Bam. Dumb bam, they don't need a friend. They'll just want to fill in the blank. There is not much to say about me. I mean, he doesn't care. Bam probably wants to be a friend, right? Why not? There's nothing wrong about that. I mean, you help them, so... It's not bad to do this. They might help you, too. They might help you back, you know? I didn't have a family nor a house. The only thing I had was a dirty piece of cloth. Oh. Well. <laughs> so I thought I would die there doing nothing and all alone. <laughs> and they're like, well, I think we were being a little bit petty about our shit. Bam is coming with real dark shit. Like, at least you had families. I didn't have any of that. <laughs> but now I have friends. Thanks. Yeah, Ben would definitely want friends because he didn't have any of that. <laughs> I just love it like Bam says this horrible life so happily. Like, yeah, I lived like a shit. I didn't know anything cool and such. I only knew one person, Rachel, but whatever. So I'm really willing to have friends. Bam. Kun probably, it seems like he didn't know that. Bam was a lonely boy. Mm, he only remembers this. Yeah, Kun probably didn't know how Bam lived. They were more luckier than him, even though Kun went through some shit too. But at least he has family. Hats probably still has family. Yeah. Basically, Bam has it probably worse. Bam has it pretty, pretty bad. But look how optimistic this baby is. He was always alone and lonely. Before he came up the tower, the only friend he had was me. Yeah, he, di he didn't have anything. Hmm. Kun is really deeply thinking about that. That's why he wants to have friends. That's why he's willingly sticking with these people. He didn't have it. Okay, let's be friends. Really? Thank you, Bam, and earrings. Why are you calling me earrings? Wanna die? <laughs> oh my god, seems like the chemistry between these two guys, Hats and Kun, might be interesting. Especially if they are arguing and boasting and having this 
back and forth. That might be cool and fun. Mr. Kuhn, you talk like Mr. Rack. What? All this is because of you, Seppuku Swartzman. I'm not a sec. <laughs> I'm not a Seppuku Swartzman. I'm hot. I mean, yeah, yeah. He got a little bit aggressive. This is Rack climbing. What the hell? Rack, what are you doing? Training? Probably, right? Okay, I'm not going there yet. Even though Rag is not like aggressively aggressive, he's just talking like that, like I'm gonna kill ya and like I think he's kinda trying to be more tougher, maybe because he was uh, living like that. But Rag is not really like that violent or that tough. Yeah. It's actually pretty sweet and cute. It's just the demeanor. Maybe he's trying to pose to be more dangerous than he is. Because he's a warrior, so he's supposed to act like that, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Icon, that was very wreck ish. Yeah, don't call him Sepulchre Swartzman, that's very disrespectful. <laughs> His name is Hats, even I remember that. Okay, so we're getting here, which is Rachel, right? Sleeping here, dreaming of the sky, night sky, but stars, very beautiful. She seems happy, very happy about us. Mm, and there is Ben. But yeah, Bam. Someone who was so important. I mean, he was important for her. He made her feel special. But now there are more people around him. And more people. Exactly like it was in Anima. Like, Rachel is jealous that she's not the only person Bam needs. He's making friends. There are a lot of people around him. So for him, She's st like she's still very special, but slowly I believe she wouldn't be the only special person for him, and she is very jealous and she probably hates it. She wants to be special, the only special person. Yeah, she's kind of jealous. Yeah, she sees him like talking with the other people, not with her. Like, Bam doesn't need her anymore. I mean, she kind of cares about him, but in a very selfish, different way. Yeah, there probably would be time where Bam wouldn't need her anymore. Or at all. Yep. I really want to understand Rachel. Like, why was she, why does she want to be so special? What she went through. She really wants to feel like uh, like a star, you know, like be talked to, like for people to talk about her, for people to recognize her, for people to talk with her, to shine bright, right? Like a star. Everyone would be looking at her and not to someone else. She wants to be center of the attention. I guess that's what she wants. That's why she was kind of happy with Bam. And that he like was very dependable on her. But she sees now then where there is more people. It's kind of not that true anymore. Like he is still really about her. Very clingy to her. But there are more people, and he is willing to have friends, more friends. Not only Rachel. Maybe she's afraid that he won't need her anymore. Yep. She won't be the only bright, shining star. And she doesn't want that. She wants to be the only one. 
who is bright. I guess she is afraid that Bam Star would be brighter than hers. That's very interesting. I want to know more about her. Yeah, that was a dream of nightmare. To be continued. To be continued. This is the end of the positioning. If I'm not mistaken, uh, next one is other portion of the story. I really like this part in anime because it's in um, interactions between characters, so it's a really cool. And we got to know that Bam is naturally good at Shinsu. He has a talent. Ha, on the other hand, doesn't have talent, so that's not really good. I mean, I really feel sad for him. Oh God. Oh god, <laughs> that like made me feel so sad in anima. So I, I'm not really anticipating that part. Yeah, I'm not really. I feel so sad for the dude. It's not fair, but that's the life. Life is usually not fair, sadly. And Ben was trying to like make him feel better. But yeah, like, it's nice of Bam, but that would be like giving him false hope, sadly. Or it might even insult him, you know, he might feel belittled that someone who is so talented will be like, Oh, you must be also talented, haha. <laughs> yeah, Laura does sees that. Bam is good at this. Like yeah, he did it so effortlessly. Like just imagining and bam, hop, it happened. <laughs> the host face, he didn't expect that. At all. At freaking all. Poor hell. Kun is tired of the classes. Rag is, I guess, training to be able to get his position. And Shibisu with hats came in to have them sign their friendship list, which they need for a scout position. And oh my god, Kuno was so mean. He was such a dick in this situation. He was such a dick, but I understand it, like, he doesn't need to, like, uh, he probably doesn't trust these people. I mean, yeah, Kun is kind of not trust people easily, especially because of what happened to him. And they were former enemies, so he's like, well, I don't really want this. Do you really think we will help you, especially when you were enemies and the chick you were working with, like, took Bam's weapon? And like Hats is trying to go about it pretty nicely. Like this chick doesn't have anything to do with us anymore because we are not in team. And Kyun started to kind of make fun of this, like what he said. Like disregarding, like, yeah, we were partners, but we are not anymore. Yeah, that that was like such a big move. Oh my god, Kun. He is doing this purposefully, I guess. I mean, Kun is very good at this, annoying people. Shibisu is like trying to make everything cool and peaceful because these guys are not feeling, not feeling it. Then he's boasting about his cool family, which has is like, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> which makes Kun angry. And Hats is trying to apologize. Telling him about himself and Kun is kind of making fun of that. Yeah, he felt insulted, so he gave him that back. Oh my god, yeah, they're, li ri they're literally like little kids. Jesus Christ. I mean, they are kind of young, so understandable. Understandable. Shibisu is probably the most clever here, even though he was kind of 
<laughs> being very petty with that woman. Maybe he liked her, that's why. <laughs> but he's like the cool the cool head here. Like guys, come on, we don't have a time for some stupid shit. At least Bam is like, I wanna be friend, please. Can I sign this? <laughs> he looks so happy about that. Like yeah, I will have more friends, yay. Then he spits some truth, like Oh well, I mean, you're cool, you have your families and such. I didn't have that and I lived in dirty and a poor life beforehand and there was nothing. I was all alone. Cool, right? So, can I have friends? <laughs> yeah. So they did that. I guess Rag is training. And we got Rachel. About her and stars and... Bam not being the one interested that much in her anymore, which I guess is her fear. Yeah, she's not the only one in his life anymore. And she wants to be a special person. She wants to be a bright star. But Bam is brighter than her, which sucks. Okay, this was nice ending. <laughs> it was kind of funny, like that argue between, like that petty fight between Kuhn and Hats. And we got this little bit of Rachel, which is very interesting. I'm very glad for that. She interests me so much. She's very intriguing character. I want to know more about her. Like, what she was doing before she met Bam. Why is she so much about like seeing sky and stars and being so important and such? I just want to know. Yeah, so I'm going to read the blog post. Um, okay, chapter 30. It's already 30 episodes and 3 audio dramas. 3 audio dramas? Really? There is a blog, blog post around the time of this chapter, but it does not pertain to this chapter and it's just still ranting about a Korean author that died, which he ends with his afterword. Okay. Yes. First manga I ever bought was Dragon Ball. Okay, that's cute. My parents were against me buying manga. So I had to use complicated war plan to do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, can you imagine? I had bought without knowing anything about it. I kept it a secret and read it like a few hundred times. These days I can read comic books far more easily. But that feeling can come. Pity. <laughs> like reading something secretly. Yeah. And having fun with it. I, d I understand. Dragon Ball is really good manga. Really, really. Like, Dragon Ball and One Piece are my most favorite shonen manga. But Dragon Ball is best in terms of fights. Like, the fights in Dragon Ball are, I would say, best fights in shonen manga I ever saw. They were so thrilling, every fight was really well done, very interestingly done. I really loved the fights. And the characters were really fun. I really liked all the main characters, actually. I really cared for them. Yeah, Dragobon is really good. Wonder how it will go with Tower of God. Because it is, I think, shonen, or kind of shonen based. But Siu was saying something like he wants it to be something between Shonen and Seinen. I guess because of its themes and such. So we'll see. I mean, so far it's pretty good. I really enjoy it. There is so many informations and very like deep lore and world building, which I I love these kind of things. <laughs> that's why I love One Piece, and that's why I'm comparing One Piece uh, with Tower God a lot. Tower God with One Piece a lot because I. Heavy Lord, very well done world, a lot of world building, a lot of tiny small details, 
which One Piece has to like it's a world is so complicated and there's so like many tiny little things and I really enjoy that yeah <laughs> we'll see where Tower of God will be going with this I'm really enjoying it and this chapter was really fun we got more interactions more about the characters and I'm enjoying especially about Rachel, even though it's like a tiny little bit just at the end of the chapter. It actually shows a lot. Yeah, it's actually really really a lot shows about her as a character. And I love it because there are no words. No words at all. And that's what I really love about Sue's art. Like, just showing you this, you can, I can understand. Yeah, and I think um, I don't did it happen in anime exactly at the same like around the same time because I remember when I felt kind of like really suspicious about Rachel after all of this because before that I was kind of okay with her but I was kind of suspicious I'm very suspicious so I was like little but after this I got very very suspicious because. It feels like she's jealous, you know, and when people are jealous, they can do shit. And usually it's not a good shit. <laughs> so I was like, oh, 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 I'm not really sure if I like this <laughs> while I was watching anime. So I really wasn't surprised when she, like, pushed Bam when she did that. Like, that really didn't surprise me because everything which was happening kind of was telling that she might do something really crazy. Very rarely it happens that when there is some kind of betrayal, it like surprised me. It needs to be done kind of in specific way. And especially here, like when Seal was kind of throwing a little bits about her being so jealous. So like, oh yeah, she would be totally okay with Bam doing this and that when She's showing this kind of thing about her personality, like... Oh boy, you're so naive. <laughs> naive. Naive, like a little baby, bambi bum. Yeah, so I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.